Uh, Faisal, um, you're that gentleman who has uh, added a brick to Sweden being second or third in, in, in rank of the most environmental, um, environmentally friendly cities in the world. Uh, you got a, a, an award in 2019 of being the best uh, environmental innovator of the year. Mm -hmm. This wooden bike, I mean, what is so? What is the, the secret behind it? Tell mm -hmm. me about this wooden bike trips in Stockholm and maybe other cities. Yes, well, um, again, the, sh the short version, I'll give you it. Um, so, of course, what happened after running my business for a few years, I started realizing that uh, when you speak to your customers, right, they come from all over the world and they're delighted to be in Stockholm to experience it. And I always used to ask them, why did you choose Stockholm as a destination? Mm, yeah. Because I'm fascinated by this, right? We are, we are a cold city. We're up in the north. There's so many other exotic places to go to. Why do ch someone choose to vacation in Stockholm? This always fascinates me because the answers always, always tells me something about my customers. And one thing that constantly kept coming back as an answer, that no matter who I asked, they said, well, the city is safe. We've read about that, that it's a safe city. So I can travel alone or with my family without worrying that anything would happen. And the second answer was, it's a very environmentally friendly city, right? People kept answering this, like, yes, it's very environmentally friendly. And I said, where have you heard this? They said, I, I don't know. I just, I read it somewhere that Sweden is very environmentally friendly. So of course this intrigues me. The way I think I said, okay, this is interesting. I, I need to learn how is Stockholm environmentally friendly? So in my research, I realized, wow, they are right. Like Stockholm is constantly year after year ranked as one of the most environmentally friendly cities. And in my research, I realized there's so much good stuff here to learn. I would love to show a visitor how Stockholm is environmentally friendly. So my brain started working. I said, I, I want to make an experience out of this. I want someone to come here and I want them to travel with me. I'll take them to an environmental restaurant. What does that look like? How does that someone cook environmental food? I wanted to take them to a pharmacy so they can talk about how they use environmental products. I want to take them to a store so they can. So I had this vision of like showing them all of Stockholm in the environmental way. Uh, so when I started practically doing this tour, I realized the distances were very long. It, it wasn't something you could just walk from A to B. I said, okay, we need a transport. Uh, are we going to take a car? Mm, that's not so environmentally friendly. We can take the subway, uh, too complicated. You need to buy tickets. I said, okay, but what if we ride bicycles? If you ride bicycles, first of all, it's a nice way to get exercise. You get to see the city. I said, yeah, that's a good way. And I said, okay, uh, I should maybe just go out and buy some bicycles. Uh, and I said, that's not fun. I mean, you can't have an environmental tour and just ride on regular bicycles, right? So mm -hmm. I said, hmm. I wonder what the most environmental bicycle out there looks like. So this is how my thought started. And from this thought, to make a long story short, what happened is I started researching and then I found a company who were willing to produce wooden bicycles for me. Um, and the way the production works is that for every bicycle they make, they plant 10 trees. I said, oh, I like that. That's nice. And of course, no one has ever seen a wooden bicycle. And so it's, you know, from nature to nature. So this is the way that journey started. So I started producing this wooden bicycles together with this company down in Greece. And we went into business together. We started producing these. Uh, and then that's how I started offering this environmental tour of Stockholm. And, and to my own surprise, it was an instant success. People loved the concept. Everybody wanted to join. The bicycles are really cool. Everybody stops you want to talk. <laughs> and uh, the city of Stockholm said, wow, uh, we're starting to get all these inquiries from people we've never spoken to about how they can get involved in the city of Stockholm and its environmental work. So they started asking them, how did you hear about us? How did you? And they said, oh, we do this experience with this guy. Um, so that's how the city of Stockholm uh, found out about my tour. And they, they apparently thought it was a very innovative. So that's why they gave me the award for best innovation of the year, um, which of course was a great pleasure uh, to, to receive.
but also to go back to tie down to our first question. Um, that was one of the proud moments as a Ugandan to see myself on the front page saying, here is someone, because the reason why this was such a great moment, and, I, and I'll be completely honest with you and, and be frank, is the gentleman who gave me the award, older Swedish gentleman, comes up to me and he says, I'm very surprised by this. And you know the reason why? And don't take this the wrong way. He said, historically speaking, the way an immigrant journeys works is this. They come to Sweden, mm -hmm. they try so hard to be part of the society, right? They just want to catch up. It's like, you know what? I want the same thing as a Swedish person has. They work, they work, they work. Eventually they get there, oh, they feel very proud. Once they get there, so okay, now I want more. I want the luxury. And they work, they work, they work. And then they get to that point, And the first thing they usually buy, maybe is a nice car, right? They want others to see them. I made it. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with this. We all have been there, right? You buy a really nice car. Maybe you buy some nice shoes and you want to show, hey, I have arrived, right? So I'm listening to this gentleman. He says this. He's like, this is why when I read about this tour, in my mind, I thought, of course, it's going to be a Swedish person because they care about their own country and their environment. So imagine my surprise when I show up and it's an African. I said, why are you so concerned with the environment in a country that's only adapted you? Like I, I assume you, you know, you buy the big cars and the nice shoes. And of course, of course, you would do that too. But so his surprise in me being African was I think the most proudest moment because I showed them that, okay, I know that your presumptions, they're not false because historically, let's be all real. We know this is the truth. Like we can even go to our own countries. You say, oh, Omar, no, you, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> same thing. I mean, <laughs> right, this is truth. So it's rarely that we give ourselves the room to pay back to something like the environment. So for me to get the award for that reason alone, was so worth it to show us that yes, we have now thankfully and hopefully evolved to a point where we we can make it, and then we can be comfortable enough to start giving back either to the environment or to our own communities, or mm -hmm. to the wider sense that is just outside of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's why that award is the proudest one I've got, and the reason it looked at us. So I didn't take it the wrong way because I said, yeah, you're not wrong in your assessment. We've all seen that. Um. Yes. Uh